everybody and welcome back to our second lecture in a series of three. This lecture is called Narrative About Transformation. I'm Stefania Palmisano and I'm working at University of Turin. The debate regarding the transformation of the religious field is one of the most pressing issues in the sociology of religion today. Sociologists, starting from observation of the 1980s North American landscape and continuing on to the UK, have begun to discuss the progressive flourishing of a variegated array of new forms of religious and spiritual life. These new spiritualities include yoga, oriental religions and philosophies, personal development, new age, Western esotericism, neo paganism, neo shamanism, eco spirituality, indigenous, indigenous wisdom. Their basic characteristic is that they are all detached from traditional religious institutions and authorities and are seen as converging towards individuals' autonomous search for a relationship with the sacred. Sociologists call this shift from the authority of institutions to the authority of the subject spirituality. This metamorphosis of religious life reflects the general cultural and social tendencies towards individualization and subjectivization that invested Western societies, as well as most of the globe, in the decades following the aftermath of World War II. The fascinating relationship between religion and spirituality continues to animate sociologists of religion. Before going into detail, let us consider some of the many ways individuals today express their religiosity or give a spiritual meaning to their lives. For example, they go to church. So we have to mention conventional forms of religious expression such as attending mass or other religious gatherings. And then they join spiritual retreats, spiritual retreats based on meditation, digital detox, and also silent retreats. And then physical practices such as yoga, dance, and martial arts, but also art is perceived like a form of spirituality. Arts such as playing, listening to music, drawing, painting, and writing, and then uh, people give spiritual meaning also to some mundane activities such as cooking, gardening, or time spent walking in nature, immersed in nature. In traditional societies, this freedom of locating and assessing the sacred everywhere, assessing the divine everywhere, was mostly on the margins and perceived as a threat to the authority and dogmas of the church. This freedom is more general today, as evidenced by the example we have made in the previous slide. But what is the relationship between religion and spirituality? And what are the differences and similarities between the two? I think they are frenemies because their relationship is intimate and inextricable. Sociologists point out two contradictory interpretations about the relationship between religion and spirituality. First of all, religion and spirituality are seen different but overlapping. For some sociologists, the two categories are substantially different. They say religion refers to traditional religions and their doctrines based on religious authorities and sacred texts. On the contrary, 
Spirituality regards individuals autonomously seeking for the meaning of their own existence and their relationship with the sacred without the mediation of external authorities. This distinction began with the study of the North American religious landscape post 1960s countercultural revolution. There, scholars identify progressive dissatisfaction with traditional sources of authority, such as religious institutions, and increasing emphasis on self expression and self determination. In the words of a very important sociologist of religion, Ruth, this is what seeking spirituality is about, namely a spiritual journey akin to a process of self-discovery rather than the passive interiorization of self-expression interiorization of parents' religious worldviews. However, despite the opposition between religion and spirituality, these concepts are here not seen as alternatives because they often find common ground in social actors, narratives, and biographical trajectories. Other scholars claim that religion and spirituality are not only different, but reciprocally exclusive. According to this position, religion and spirituality are incompatible categories to the point that they are seen as being in a zero-sum relationship, which means an inversely proportional relationship. When one increases, the other decreases and vice versa. This position was originally proposed by two British sociologists Linda Woodhead and Polilas. They suggested that we are witnessing what they provocatively call a spiritual revolution, namely a radical transformation of individuals' relationship with the sacred, where the individual self functions as the sole principle of authority in one's own religious and spiritual life. They predict that as a result, in the Western world, religion is gradually giving way to spirituality. In conclusion, there are different ways to account for the transformations of the spiritual and religious fields, each one emphasizing a different aspect of these dynamic changes. As a consequence, each of these approaches has its own strength and limitations and invite us to reflect and form our own opinion. So, what do you think about the relationships between religion and spirituality as depicted by sociologists of religion? What can we learn from their different views on the subject? Take these questions with you after the lecture and allow them to inform your personal view. That's all for today. Please stay in touch with us. Have a look at the bibliography of the module. Bye bye.